Hey, what's up guys? This is Foryam again back with a new Minecraft Dungeons video. Last weekend we had Minecraft Live, a huge event which unveiled some new content coming up for both Minecraft and Dungeons. And guys, I am actually extremely excited about the tower. So this is pretty much a new kind of game mode which we'll be able to play. And this one is gonna release somewhere in December. But this one is definitely gonna add a lot of replay value to the game. Unfortunately, not really end game content, but I think this one is gonna be a lot of fun. So today I'm going to talk about pretty much everything you need to know about the tower, both about the content which we already saw on Minecraft Live, but also speculate a little bit about features which we can also expect to pop up in this new game mode. We're going to talk about the different floors, we're going to talk about the way how this one is generated, also if it's going to be single player or multiplayer, and a lot more. So guys, let's dive right into it. Alright, so first off, the release date. When can we expect this bad boy to pop up and of course, will this one be free or do you have to pay for it? Well guys, I have some very good news. It should be released. They plan to release it during the holidays for this year. So that means between Christmas and New Year. I think that's going to be really awesome because then most people are at home. They don't have to work or don't have to go to school. So most of you guys will be able to play at the release of the tower. Of course, this is the scheduled release date, so it doesn't mean it is confirmed to release in December, but uh, let's just hope it is, because that would be really nice. Next up, free to play or pay to play. Well, this one is confirmed to be free to play for every single one of you guys. So that's great news. You don't have to spend another dollar in order to unlock this one. But that, guys, doesn't mean it's also going to come with some paid content. I mean, what I think is going to happen right here is that they are going to release the tower. It is going to be free to play for every single one of you guys. But at the same time, they also want to add some paid unlockable things. So if you play this one free to play, you'll be able to unlock some basic cosmetics, let's say. But then if you have, let's say, a battle pass or something, you will be able to unlock even more features in the tower. I am not saying that this is gonna happen for sure, but it would definitely make sense because they said they were going to do seasonal adventures. The tower is also part of those seasonal adventures. And we already know that the first one, the first tower event pretty much is called uh, the cloudy tower or something like that. Well, this means that every single week or two weeks, the tower is gonna be replaced by a new type of season and this one will of course also bring some new floors some new challenges new bosses pretty much to deal with and they will probably also change the rewards and if you pay for it you will probably get your hands on some extra rewards I am very curious what you guys think, so make sure to leave it in the comments down below. I'm gonna ask this multiple times, so make sure you do it right now. I mean, we have so much information to speculate about. We don't have many answers yet, so I'd love to see your reactions. Anyways, we also have the layout. They already confirmed that the tower is gonna have 30 floors in total. Of course, the higher you go in the tower, the more difficult these floors will become. But at the same time, I think the reward will also be better and better, depending on the amount of floors you already cleared. So I spent some time working on a graphic to show you guys a little bit what I think the tower is going to look like. So in total, we're going to have 30 floors. If you get to the very last floor, you manage to clear this one, you will probably get your hands on the most epic reward. I think this reward is going to be a single time reward. So you'll be able to play the tower as many times as you want. But for every season, you can only get that final reward one single time. Maybe it's going to be like the daily trials after you complete that one, you might be able to repeat it but then the reward is going to be something less interesting like a random chest or something so now the infrastructure of the tower what are all these floors going to look like i think 60 to 70 percent of the floors will consist out of the mob floor so this is also what we saw on minecraft live gp was dealing with all these mobs to get to the next floor pretty much so you just enter the door and then you will go to the more difficult next floor and you advance all the way to pretty much the end the top of the tower so i think it's going to be pretty cool if this also going to consist of some puzzle floors like we have the redstone puzzles in the soggy cave or maybe also those uh, little puzzles which you see in the howling peaks and of course also the gauntlet of gales 
I think that would be really nice to have a little bit of variation in between all that fighting to just deal with some redstone puzzles. I think that's going to be really nice. But then, of course, I think every five to ten floors, you will also have to fight a boss. So I think at the beginning, it's going to be something like an evoker fight. Then we also have the redstone golems. But of course, the higher you go in the tower, the more difficult these challenges will become. So I think also the bosses will determine how the floor is going to look like. And maybe because right now it is the cloudy season, pretty much, it will be something like the howling peak. So all these uh, floors will be very howling peak teamed, but it could also be something entirely different. So we just see random floors generally generated for all the different levels pretty much the mainland and then also maybe they're gonna advertise the um, DLCs a little bit in the tower so you think like oh wow this was a pretty cool floor and it was like the jungle awakens DLC mission then you can also decide to maybe purchase uh, the DLC afterwards if you really enjoyed the scenery of that DLC so basically most of the times we're gonna deal with little trash mobs just like with the ancient hunts and then sometimes you will find a room which has a boss fight you're just gonna deal with that one and probably every five to ten levels you will also get your hands on a reward now next up i am very curious what this one is gonna be generated like is it gonna be a pre-built mission or is every room gonna be entirely randomly generated I would definitely prefer the latter, so it's gonna have a lot more replay value, but it could also be something pre-built. I mean, we're talking about the cloudy season, right? I think they already have ideas of which items are gonna drop, which weapons you will be able to select to get all the way to the end, so you're gonna have to make decisions. Maybe the first floor is gonna ask you like, hey, what kind of weapon do you want to play with? Do you want to play with a Master's Katana or do you want to go with a Fighter's Bindings or do you want to go with a Spear? You just make a selection in between those three and then let's say after 15 or 20 levels you also get your hands on a certain piece of armor, some artifacts and then you die because you didn't make the right decisions during this playthrough. Then you can replay the level and then you can make the same decisions again or you could also go with something else. So say at the beginning you chose the katana, later on instead of let's say uh, the phantom armor you already know that uh, there's going to be a certain artifact that's going to have a lot more synergy with the piece of armor. So you take another piece of armor so you know exactly which items are going to be the best for this very season. I personally think it's going to be exactly like this. Also guys, let me know in the comments what you think, but um, how cool would it be if everything were to be randomly generated? So say during my live stream, I start with uh, a vine whip, also a twin axe, and then also a spear or something, but you were a little bit lucky. And at the very beginning, you already get to choose a, let's say a ranged weapon. So everything is going to be so much easier because the enemies won't be able to touch you. You can just shoot them from afar, take them down without a problem. Problem, so you have a higher chance of succeeding in the very first floors and then after clearing a couple waves you also find a wither armor or you get to choose between some items and also wither armor so you go like oh I'm gonna take this one and this already increases your chances of clearing all those floors drastically. Well, I, for example, found a evocation rope. In the end, I die at a certain floor. So I replay the level and get some new random items once again. That would be so nice because everybody's gonna have a different experience, but um, we just have to see what's gonna pop up, guys. I'm very curious how this is gonna be, either pre-built or randomly generated. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. And now you're probably wondering like, hey, why aren't we going to do this one together so we can have the same experience? Well, guys, I think I'm going to have to disappoint everybody right here because they clearly said on Minecraft Live, they didn't talk a lot about it, but this is exactly what they said. The tower is another free single player feature that we've added to camp. So basically the tower is going to be a single player experience. That means you won't be able to invite friends or well, that is what they said so far. So maybe in the future you will be able to play together. Maybe after you've already cleared this entire dungeon and your friend has two, you might be able to clear this one together because you already got to the top. You already got your hands on that sweet reward which is at the very top of the tower. Still though, I am afraid this one is going to be single player 
entirely forever so even after you cleared it already but i personally don't mind that much i mean i really enjoy playing the game solo i always go for a pretty nice challenge and it's not fun to constantly revive people or to carry people around let's say i think some of you guys really enjoy co-oping and i think of course if you have the right people to do that it can be a lot of fun but i think the tower's design is perfect for solo play and that's also the thing that i am gonna really enjoy to do during live streams if it's gonna be random randomly generated oh boy it's gonna have so much replay value i think it's gonna be really cool to live stream this one for hours and hours and see how far we can get how many rewards we can get our hands on and guys talking about rewards they also announced during minecraft live that this is gonna be the place to be to get your hands on those sweet adventure points i'm gonna talk a little bit more about the adventure points in a next video but um, i think this is pretty much everything we already can talk about for the tower if you have another topic for me just leave it in the comments down below i'd love to break it down in a new video but um, guys seriously stay tuned the next video about the adventure points is gonna be very interesting as well well, guys, big thanks for watching. Definitely make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed watching this one. And of course, make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. It is entirely free. You can always unsubscribe, but I think you'll regret that. There is so much more Dungeons content coming your way. Guys, I'll see you very soon with a new video about the adventure points. Till then, peace.